Hey, good evening, everybody, and welcome to tonight's daily or evening tarot love reading. Welcome to Love and Abundance Tarot. It's great to be here with you. Great to be able to, to tune in and to share this reading with you. I've been kind of anxious and excited to come out and get in, in the studio so I could upload this reading for you guys today. It's been a great day today. Um, it's been a very enlightening day, so I'm going to share for the first few minutes here. So I went to work this morning, um, and I'm lucky because I happen to work with one of my best friends. Uh, so we have great conversations, uh, but we spent a few hours at the office, and then we went out and checked on a few of the, the jobs, and then we made our way over to the hot springs. So we have these natural hot springs where I live here in the state, um, where you know it's down by this lake area, and, and it's really warm and soothing. It just has a lot of, uh, a lot of minerals in it, so a lot of healing properties. But anyways, went down there to, uh, to the hot springs, uh, and it's always a great conversation. We talk about life and meaning and purpose and such. Uh, so we got caught up in the conversation. It was just the two of us in the beginning, and then quite a few people ended up showing up after that. Uh, so there was quite a group in there afterwards. Um, but yeah, but I had a great experience. I was in a very soothing, relaxed state, and I kind of went over to the side and laid back, and I closed my eyes, and... I just allowed myself to slip into the present. Um, and I'm sharing this with you guys because it, it, I found it to be a very good experience for me. So if it worked for me, maybe it'll work for some of you as well. But I closed my eyes and I allowed myself to connect with all of my senses at a very high level. Um, and it took me, I mean, it, it, it brought me completely into the present. Number one, it, it took me out of my head. Uh, removed me from, you know, all kinds of thoughts and things that, you know, that, that I may be having at the time. But I was so aware, right, of all of the sounds that I was hearing. Um, and there were so many sounds. And I could feel there was a breeze there uh, earlier this afternoon. So I could feel, you know, you have a little bit of water on your upper body and that's out of water. So you have the breeze blowing on you. But it's just the way it the way it hits your skin with a little bit of water on it. I mean, it's just it's an amazing feeling, on top of just the amazing feeling that your body experiences when you're actually um, laying in the hot pots. And yeah, and just the smells and the sounds and all the. And then I eventually opened my eyes and I just took in the whole scene. Uh, but yeah, it was a, it was a beautiful experience, um, and I kind of feel like I, in the experience, a little bit a part of me kind of maybe in a kind of a meditative way kind of kind of uh left part of the part of this state if you will and slipped into kind of that in-between state um that's the best way that i can describe it which is a very intuitive state you know and my guides were speaking to me then uh and they were reminding me that you cannot control your destiny uh, that was the big aha that was that came to me when I was at the Springs today of, of controlling destiny. You know, destiny has its way of showing up, of finding you. Uh, and I've had this idea in my head of destiny for, for quite some time now, right? So it's like this four of pentacles kind of energy, which is kind of interesting because as I was coming out preparing and thinking about what I wanted to share and talk about, I was thinking about that very thing, you know, it being a four of pentacles kind of energy. I happened to look down here on the desk and the card sitting up on top, showing itself, nonetheless, was the four of pentacles. So it's kind of my sign, okay, this is, this is supposed to be shared. But yeah, the four of pentacles of just hanging on to the must-haves, just the way that we think things need to be, are supposed to be, right? And if it's destiny, uh, we can't control destiny. So it was a big aha eye-opener for me, uh, a big awakening, which is actually, it feels really good, right, to let go of that, because now it's a mystery again, you know? It's like, I, no, I'm not controlling it. It's going to find me. It'll come to me. So I'm open to receiving it. I'm speaking with my guides more now than I ever have been before, working on manifesting. So anyways, uh, it was a fun experience, but thank you for letting me share. Uh, the experience got a little bit better too. As I opened up my eyes, and there were several people there by then, um, and there was a little boy that was there, and he was wearing a t-shirt that just jumped right out at me. It's like, I just love the way energy works, right? Maybe it was a coincidence, but I don't think so. Um, but I took a picture of it. I was so taken by it, right? It has this little space cowboy on the shirt. Uh, and I'm going to post the picture at the end of today's reading. 
I, I, he's a cute little boy. I'd have his face in there too, but I don't have his permission for that. So I'm just going to post the picture of the, of the shirt that I saw. But just coming right at me, reminding me, you know, energy reminding me, hey, you're Space Cowboy. So everything's under control. Anyways, it brought me a lot of peace. So I wanted to share that with you guys. Thank you for letting me share. Today is Thursday. April the 9th, uh, and the time is 9.22 p.m. I got out here as soon as I could. I had quite a few things to do when I got home from work, so, but I'm glad that I have a chance to cue this up. Some of you may get a chance to watch it tonight. Uh, most of you will probably watch it tomorrow. Just know that, that you know the readings aren't date specific, so whenever the reading finds you, that's the time for you to watch it. Uh, just allow the universe to bring it to you. Anyways, uh, let's get started with tonight's reading. I want to take a moment, tap the crystal healing bowl, give it a chance to sing to us. Keep in mind, this is a perfect time to remove ourselves from the outcome of the reading. And I'm really looking forward to tonight's reading because, you know, it's, I love the anticipation of just not knowing what to expect, right? But excited and kind of anxious to see what comes out. Uh, so inhale deeply, exhale deeply. Allow yourself to step into a space and place where you'll be open to hearing and receiving any messages that'll be meant for you to hear tonight. Okay, wow, that came through great. I almost remembered to take my, my crystal healing bowl with me today to the springs, uh, but slipped my mind. Um, but yeah, the bowls are so effective there in the springs. You can actually put it there in the springs with you and let it sing. And you can feel the vibration moving its way, working its way through the water. It kind of works its way through your body. I don't know. I've never looked into it, but you know, intuitively, I kind of feel like there's some uh, pretty phenomenal healing that can take place with that. Some of you might know more about that than me. If so, let us know in your comments. Okay, so I'm just going to start pulling cards. I'm going to pull these cards from my um, Psychic Terror of the Heart deck by John Holland. I'm calling it a love reading. Uh, it doesn't have to be relationship, you know. Love is about a lot more than relationships. It's about a lot more than romance. More about, more about connection. Okay. All right. Opening energy taking us into tonight's reading. We have take the lead. So this is equivalent to the three of wands. Three of wands is good energy. I like that number three on there. I'm in a personal year three this year. All right, tell us more. Too many energies. Tell us more. Okay, coming in next, now we're building across the top, we have third eye chakra. Third eye representing the mind's eye. It's our intuitive sense, kind of that in-between place that I was just describing. All right, tell us more, tell us more. Okay, coming in next to the third eye, we have Opportunity Beckons. That's equivalent to the Four of Cups. So, being deep in thought, absolutely deep in thought. We know that because coming in next, we have Seeking. Right? Seeking for answers, going inward. It's also uh, represents the energy of Virgo. It's the Hermit card in Original Tarot. Okay, so I feel like somebody, somebody is definitely deep in thought. Um, I say that, right, because this character here on this card, 
He's deep in thought, right? And I love this card because he's staring out at the moon and the stars, the planets, you know. So you may be following energy, right? You may be looking for answers, you know, through tarot or through following astrology or such. But we know you're seeking. We know you're seeking a higher truth. You're seeking enlightenment and understanding. And I say that because we have both your third eye chakra. Right? This is letting you know that your intuition is there. Right? Your intuition is available. We're going to read in just a few minutes how to open up that third eye chakra to help us on opening up those intuitive receptors for ourselves. And then seeking. So yeah, I feel like, I feel like somebody is... So this this opportunity beckons. What just came to mind is like as I was looking at the image is destiny. You know, I think somebody's thinking about they're thinking about their destiny, um, and they're going inward with this with this uh, seek energy showing up here, um, and they're doing it in a way that's. I mean, I feel like it's going to be a positive thing to work for them because we have the third eye chakra coming up. So yeah, I feel like this is a very intuitive time. Uh, for many of us. But I, I see movement here because we have take the lead as the center energy showing up here. Okay, coming in next, beautiful energy, we have shine. Shine coming in to take the lead, coming in just under the third eye chakra. You know, so this, this is equivalent to uh, the Sun card in original tarot, which represents the energy of Leo, right? So you may be a Leo or you may be connected to, to a Leo. Same thing with Virgo on the board here. But this is about, this is about surrendering, right? I mean, it's so interesting. I'd say that because I was learning today that this very lesson, right? About surrendering, you know, surrendering and trusting the universe. Notice that, you know, she's attached to nothing, but she's open to everything, right? So this is trusting the universe. This isn't, con this isn't trying to control your destiny. This is just opening yourself up to the universe, right? Asking for, for the universe, right? To bring in your destiny, to bring in those energies that would serve your, your highest good. Um, but counting on the universe to do that. Okay, coming in next, we have release. So this is equivalent to the death card in original tarot. So it's representing the energy of Scorpio. That's coming in underneath seek. So release is, is about something, something needing to be let go of, right? To, to let out. Uh, it could also represent an ending. We're going to pull some clarifiers in a minute here. Okay, beautiful. Energy coming in next is dreams coming true. The number nine. I love the number nine. Powerful number. So we have two nines showing up here. We have seek and then we have dreams coming true. All right, tell us more. Okay, beautiful. All right, so coming in next, we have love. So this is equivalent to um, Gemini's, en Gemini's energy. It's the lover's card in original tarot. So this is about a connection, about two people coming together, coming together in union. Uh, I notice you know, what's really standing out to me here, right, is, is the growth that's here. The growth that's, that's, that's growing between those two. I also like the way they're they're both kind of leaning outwards, where you know they're they're hanging on to each other's hands, and they're there they're there to support one another, supporting one another. That's kind of jumping out to me. Yeah, I'm feeling a lot a lot of love and a lot of support with that energy. Okay, beautiful. Coming in next, we have joy and stability. So this is equivalent to the Four of Wands in original Tarot. So for some, this can represent the the commitment energy. Um, you know, of two energies coming together in union. Uh, whether this is romantic or it's friendship, um, whatever it's about, we'll find out. We're going to get some clarification. 
but yeah joy and stability it's it, it it's the the coming together the union of energies right which brings about this beautiful energy of of, of feeling that energy of joy and stability in your life stability I like that all right okay let's get some let's get some clarification first area I want to get some clarification on for us is the third eye chakra tell us more about the third eye chakra all right I know we have a card that's flipped here okay beautiful so the first clarifier we have on the third eye chakra is your nine of cups. Nine of cups is a beautiful energy. It's representing that energy of, of manifesting all of your hopes and dreams, right? Of having that, having that intuitive sense of, of knowing that it's out there, you know, and, and, and feeling that you're on track towards manifesting all of your hopes and dreams and for some it, it may be because you've been able to connect yourself with your mind's eye you know you may have received some intuitive guidance and understanding um, about feeling that you're on track towards manifesting all of your hopes and dreams it's beautiful energy all right tell us more okay wasn't expected this energy. Here we have the Three of Swords. Right? So the Three of Swords represents heartbreak, uh, sadness, grief. So I feel like this is this is well, yeah. It's, a, well, it's an energy that's showing up in the reading, right? So an energy that 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 we should those of us that are connected to with with this reading should be aware of this energy, you know, of feeling some sense of sadness and grief. You know, and maybe it is, maybe it could be because maybe you thought you were on your destiny, you know, um, only to learn that you were not, um, you know, and sometimes those lessons, you know, that teach us that they can be a little bit painful at times where we can really feel these three swords impelling the heart. But then what happens is we're able to open ourselves up to our intuition maybe being reminded that we don't control our destiny, right? That our destiny has a way of finding us, bringing you all of your hopes and dreams. All right, tell us more. Tell us more. Okay. So we're getting clarification on opportunity beckons. And here we have the Seven of Cups. Beautiful energy. Seven of Cups is, represents the energy of having a lot of choices. We're getting clarification on this energy right here, which is representing the energy of being deep in thought, right? You're thinking about your future. Maybe you're thinking about your destiny. Maybe you're wondering about it, right? Wondering, you know, when, do, when, when will my destiny show up, right? How does my destiny look exactly? And you're being reminded that attached to this are lots of choices, right? Showing itself as a seven of cups. We see the figure here, she's on her dragon, right? Flying through the air. She's being offered cups, coming in from every direction, but you notice she's not receiving any of them. It's because I think, think the cup that she wants is down here, right, on the ground. So she's gonna need to come out of the air and come to the ground in order to obtain that cup. But re you're being reminded, right, that there are lots of choices out there. Tell us more about Opportunity Beckons. Okay, coming in next, we have the Nine of Wands. So the Nine of Wands is a good energy. If we look at the figure here on the card, right, she's been in battle. She's taken the time to position herself on top of this hill, right? To give herself the strategic advantage of being above. So she's better able to see what may be approaching. So looking at the big picture, the long term. And, and, I, and you know, it's coming in as a clarification 
on opportunity beckons because what you're deep in thought on is not like what am I going to have for breakfast tomorrow morning? Should I get coffee or should I not? Creamer? Yes or no? It's not that. This is You're thinking about deep things. You're thinking about things that really matter to you. You're thinking about well, your destiny, nine of wands. You're thinking about the long term. And you're being reminded that there are lots of choices out there. All right, tell us more about Seek. Okay, we have two energies. This is the energy we're getting clarification on. So it's representing the energy of, of Hermit, right? So how do, we, how do we go about bringing this energy into our life? Well, we go about it by taking time out to remove ourselves from a lot of the noise, a lot of the chaos in the world, right? And with the, everything that's happening right now with the coronavirus, so many of us are, to a degree, maybe a little bit quarantined. So this is a beautiful time for all of us, for the collective, right? To take advantage of this time to go inward, right? Seeking. What is it that you're seeking? You're seeking the, the answers, to, right, to the real important questions, right? Maybe you're seeking answers to your destiny. I love how... Her arms are opened up, right? So she's seeking, but she's going into it with an open mind, right? She isn't going into it with four pinnacles kind of energy, with all these expectations. She's open to receiving whatever the universe has to bring in store for her. The clarifiers that we have on this, it's beautiful. We have the two of wands, and attached to it, we have the six of wands. So the Two of Wands represents the energy of the courageous risk taker who's getting ready to set out and embark on a new adventure. So Two of Wands, you may be looking at going and in, stepping into this adventure with another person, you know, with it with there being a two here. We've got the world and the tail of the dragon, right? Which could represent the energy of you know this this course, this destiny of yours, right? May may involve some travel. You may be traveling, seeing the world. Right? And then coming in next to that, we have the Six of Wands, which is a beautiful energy. It represents the energy of victory and of triumph, right? So this is what you're seeking guidance and answers on, right? You're looking, you're seeking for your destiny. You're looking for your direction, and here it is. And what does it bring you? It brings you victory and triumph. I feel like the reason it, maybe it brings you victory and triumph is literally her body language right here because she is sitting cross-legged and she is open, right? Open to receiving. Yeah, for whatever, like reverence comes to mind. It's just a very reverent energy that's attached to that seek energy. That's what I'm feeling tonight. All right. Tell us about Shine. First clarifier we have is the Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles is a good energy. You know, it's representing the energy. It's typically it's a work-related energy, right? So this is about getting focused, getting focused on what it is you do, whether it's your work, your job, your trade, your craft, um, a hobby or an interest. It could be, a, you know, it could even be a relationship. Whatever this energy is, right? That 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 you're working on, on, on trying to create, where you're investing your time. And I'm feeling a lot of creativity with that energy. So yeah, some of you may be involved in something very creative. Tell us more about Shine. Too many energies. Tell us more about Shine. Okay, I'm not surprised to see this come out. It tried to come out a few minutes ago. I made a kind of a mental note of it, and I always say if they're meant to come out, they'll come out again, and surely this, this was meant to come out. So the Seven of Pentacles, this is, this is referring to energies of seeds that, seeds that, that we planted, right? And again, I'm, I'm feeling a lot of destiny in this card as well. There's something about the number seven. 
on this card as well. Here we see the figure. She's sitting, right? She's been working in the field and she's taking time to sit back and reflect upon the seven pentacles, right? That she's manifested and she's thinking about what exactly do I want to, do I want to manifest next? You know, so for many it's representing seeds. I'm gonna say predestined seeds for whatever, I don't think I've ever used that term before, uh, that you planted in the past. You know, it, that are looks like they're 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 coming close towards coming out and having the sun shine on them, right? So what I'm picking up on this is that, that it's coming in, you know, that the sun's going to going to shine on this, you know. So for some, I feel like you know you may learn about your destiny soon. Eight of Pentacles, right? Stay focused, stay focused, and work. Work. Strive to do the best at whatever it is you do, right? What, just like the figure here in this card. She's carefully aligning herself, striving to become the best at what it is she do. She's working her spin wheel. So it's really about, you know, devoting, devoting your energy towards towards your work and your craft. And you're being reminded, right, that 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 you're doing, you're on a destined path, right? This is this is all referring to seeds that have been planted from the past. And here you are continuing to nurture and harvest these seeds. Brings you the energy of the sun, which is a beautiful thing. All right, tell us about Take the Lead. Okay, we have the Four of Swords. It's good energy. Four of Swords can represent the energy of of taking time to rest, reflect. It's also about taking good care of yourself, really nurturing yourself, making sure you're eating right, you're sleeping, you know, adequately, that you're sleeping great, um, exercising. Tell us more about take the lead. Okay, beautiful. Talk about take the lead. There isn't a better leading energy to take on than the Emperor energy, which represents the energy of Aries. Uh, so you may be an Aries, or some of you may be connected to an Aries. But here we go. I mean, it's it's kind of like this is what it's letting us know. So we're getting clarification on this energy. Take the lead. This is about taking the initiative, taking action, really getting out there. I mean, it's. It's holding up this this ball of energy, right? Your your energy within you that you've that you've welled up. And what are you doing? You're putting it out there. It's like you're taking this energy, you're putting it out there, you're sharing it with the world. Okay. And it's, it, I feel like it says it perfectly here. It's like, okay, we've taken time to rest and recuperate, right? This is about balance right here. This is this is the go-getter, the, the action taker, the achiever, right? This is the other side of the coin or the spectrum. This is about making sure you have adequate rest, that you've, uh, you know, that you're, it, there's, that there's balance there. So, and I feel like for some it's saying, hey, once the rest is over, then take action. This is a very trusted energy. And he wears the horn of the ram, symbolizing his intelligence. Very intuitive, right? With this bird flying, it's carrying this orb above him. And he, he holds the world that he reigns in the palm of his hand, right? So this is about really getting, you know, getting your power. And I feel like this, this, you, you're able to feel those energies and feel that power within you when you take the initiative. And this is the center card showing up in tonight's reading. So it's an important energy. This is about taking the lead, really putting yourself out there. All right, tell us about release. Okay, so first clarifier is the Page of Cups. So the Page of Cups represents the energy of love, right? It's This is the thought of love. So this is something that, that's being released. Uh, we have this water lily that's illuminated in front of her, right? So this could this could represent, you know, of stepping into it, you know, having some preconceived ideas on it, on exactly, you know, how this is supposed to show up in your life. Um, but it's not about that, right? This is about turning it over to the universe and trusting destiny, 
trusting destiny to find you. And here, it finds you right here in this Ace of Pentacles. Aces represent beginnings, right? So it's like, it's like when we're able to release ourselves, right? Let go of the must-haves, right? The way, the way that we think things should be or supposed to be as it pertains to love and connection, right? Whether this is a relationship or a job or uh, some other type of energetic connection that you have, could be a hobby. But that's what opens up the door, right? For this beautiful beginning. Why does this come in? It comes in because you're no longer closed, right? At the end of the day, we're all just energy. Uh, we're energetic vessels. Right? And when and when we're, we're stuck in some of those heavier limiting energies, it has a way of, of closing us off in some ways energetically. And so we close ourselves off from like these beautiful energies, right? Universal energies that we have the ability to connect ourselves with. And here we see him coming in on this beautiful Ace of Pentacles. So whatever you're letting go of, right, it's showing that there's a beginning coming in right afterwards. Okay, now we're getting clarification on dreams coming true. Here we have the Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune represents the energy of changes, changes coming in. That's a perfect energy to come out on uh, on dreams coming true okay so this is where we're getting our clarification dreams coming true number nine attached to that we have the six of cups so the six of cups this can represent a younger time in our life maybe going back to, to earlier days as we have this woman here and she's Right, holding the hand of this little girl, it's like the little girl doesn't want her to leave, wants her to stay. And for some, this can represent the energy of somebody from your past. Well, it's, it's, it's coming in attached to dreams coming true. So yeah, it could be, it could be for some, it may be somebody uh, from your past, right? But I, but I do, I feel like this is... Well, it's dreams coming true. I feel like it's going back to like the early days, the early time of your life. You're reminding you, you know, that this is all part of your destiny. This is all part of your dream. And coming in next, we have the Wheel of Fortune, which represents the energy of changes, right? So changes coming into you, favorable changes. And what determines those favorable changes is ourselves, our own energy. You know, making sure that we're living a life of gratitude. And when I was at the Springs today, that was the energy that I was feeling when I was connected with, with my senses, is I was feeling so much deep gratitude for, for everything that I was really connected to, feeling and experiencing at that time. So that's a higher vibration. So when we're able to embrace that higher vibration, when these changes come in, right, because the wheel is spinning, right, it's going to resonate with whatever our energy is like. It's going to spin off those kind of changes that match up to our energy. So a beautiful time. To rate, work on raising your vibration. All right, tell us more about love. I'm gonna turn up the music just a bit. I can barely hear it. So here we have the Page of Pentacles. So the Page of Pentacles uh, represents Earth type energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, if so, it would be a younger energy. But here we see this figure, right? She's sitting in this tree, playing her mandolin, hoping to play it well enough to earn herself a pentacle, which you can see she's done this very thing. So this is coming in as a clarification on love. This is about a connection, right? A connection shared between two people, right? Two people that, and I just, I'm seeing it and feeling it, two people that lean on one another right you lean on one another for help and support because look without her he'd fall backwards and if she didn't have him she would fall backwards as well so really it's bringing a beautiful balance between them so i'm feeling that of, of two people helping one another out with page of pentacles showing up right it's letting you know this is there right this is an energy that's resonating ahead of you i don't feel like it's for some, I don't feel like it's too far off. You 
You know, and I feel like the reason that's this card's coming up is, is for a lot of us, you know, you wonder, if is love out there for me, right? Is this connection really there for me? Does it exist? And you're being, it's being confirmed to you right here that yes, it absolutely exists. Okay, coming in next, we have Seven of Swords. So the Seven of Swords is a little bit of a limiting energy. We see the figure, he's bending down to pick up these two swords. In the meantime, his other five swords, right? They're, they're flying above his head. So it's representing the energy of maybe feeling like you have a lot of irons in the fire, right? That's interesting. So having a lot of, you're juggling, juggling a lot of things and having a lot of, having a lot of irons in the fire. And yet here we have, right? The coming together of two people, right? Two people that, that lean on one another, that, that rely upon one another. Um, I feel like it's that connection, that sense of trust and connection, that that's what allows many of us, right? To step away from feeling like you have too many irons in the fire, you know, that, that, you're, that you're juggling too many things at once. Maybe you, have, you feel like you have too much going on. All right, tell us about joy and stability. Okay, all right. So the first clarifier we have on that is the Ace of Cups, right? So here we see the beginning. Ace of Cups, it's a loving beginning, right? It's something that you're passionate about, that you're excited about. Whether it's romantic love, it could be about, for some, it may be about this connection with these two people on the lover's card. Um, but it's coming in attached to joy and stability, right? So this is a commitment type type energy with, with the joy and stability. So it's great news. I mean, we have, we have a beginning coming in, you know, of something, something that you love, that you're excited about, whether that's a connection or an opportunity, an idea, Tell us more about joy and stability. Okay, coming in next we have the Hierophant. So beautiful energy is it represents the energy of Taurus. So you may be a Taurus, you may have a Taurus in your life. It may be a Taurus as part of this connection here, right? But this is this is about a higher level of thinking. You know, looking at things from a higher vibration, um, a more enlightened vibration. It's connected to, well, I feel like it's a beautiful thing. It's, it's connected to a higher level of love, right? It's a higher level of love about this connection that brings you, possibly you and another person, all kinds of joy and stability. Wow, what a, what a great ending for, for tonight's reading. Yeah, so seeking that higher level of love and, it's, and here it is, it's found, right? And it comes in and, and it brings you joy and stability. Joy and stability. And that, kind of, and that stability is kind of, it's being emphasized a little bit, right? Because we have two people leaning on one another and we have seven of wands, which, you know, this is a very unstable kind of energy. So that instability going away, possibly with the union and the connection of these two people. All right. I want to pull one more card for us. I'm going to pull this from my uh, Power of Love deck. I just want to see what the love energy is for us in tonight's reading. Okay. Beautiful. Wow. What a divine love energy to show up. Here we have Harmony taking us out of tonight's reading. It says, you were able to feel a loving, balanced connection with everything. In fact, I want to read just a little bit more about this from this guidebook. Oh, wrong book.
Okay. I'm gonna throw my spectacles here. Harmony. When you sit in in stillness, satisfied that your soul is on the right path and that everything is right in your world, even for a moment, it is a true gift. One you have created for yourself, feeling balanced and harmonious on this earth plane is very difficult. And when it happens, your spirit soars. Yet it takes work. On your part, but that's what you signed up for when you agreed to incarnate here. Creating order in this tumultuous physical dimension is like walking a tightrope. Your constant awareness is on keeping your balance while dealing with the obstacles in your path. The good news is the more you practice, the easier it becomes. If something within your being is out of balance, it will come to the surface of your awareness to give you the opportunity to be explored further and understood more deeply. Realize that some things that might upset your equilibrium originate from outside of you and are beyond your control. But you do have control over the inner self. Always remember to approach life with an attitude of love, compassion, and empathy. When you are at peace with yourself, it is easier to be at peace with everything else. Wow, I'm really glad we read this. Because um, as I'm reading it, I'm going back and I'm remembering and I'm feeling those same energies that I was feeling today when I was at the Springs. Right, Really giving myself... It took effort on my part, right? I had to I had to allow myself to step into that space to really be able to embrace that energy of beautiful harmony, enlightenment, truth, and understanding. Okay, guys, I think I'm done with tonight's reading. Thank you so much. Those of you that tuned in, uh, I appreciate all of your views. I love the viewership. I love the comments as well. I read them all. They inspire me. They motivate me. Uh, they lift me and they make me happy. So thank you so much and keep those coming. Um, also, for those of you that have taken time to send me emails, I appreciate that. It's great to get that correspondence. Um, so thank you. Um, thank you for the donations. Uh, those of you that have contributed to the channel, right? Those donations make a difference. They help me keep the lights on and things, uh, as well as the proceeds from those of you that have ordered personal tarot readings. I love the personal readings. I'd love to provide you personal reading. If you're a little bit tempted, roll the dice take a chance get a personal reading it's a reading that pertains to you specifically so it gets a lot more interesting we can ask all kinds of different questions in your reading okay all right guys i'm done been a great day have a beautiful night thanks again for letting me share